instead of listening to yourself and instead of asking yourself what is it I want to do what is it that makes me feel good who is it I admire who is it I want to become like instead of listening to ourselves and asking ourselves uh, that question we focus on what everybody else is saying about us How are you doing? How is your day today? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Feel at Home. If you're new here, my name is Mudoni Mukirin Joroge. I am a personal development and mindset coach, and I'm happy to do what I do here. So, believing in yourself, how to believe in yourself, and steps towards believing in yourself. What you need to do to believe in yourself. It could be you want to accomplish uh, a goal, a particular goal. It could be you want to start a YouTube channel. It could be you want to change your career. It could be you want to get into another relationship, leave a relationship. It could be you want to go after your dreams or after something so huge. It could be there's something you want to do, but you struggle a lot with believing in yourself, believing in who you are. So what can you do to believe more in yourself? Believing in yourself is actually trusting in yourself putting trust in yourself that you can actually do what it is you feel uh, you would want to do. Before I go to the steps to how, what you need to do and how, um, where you can start if you really struggle with believing in yourself, if you have dreams, you have goals, you have things you want to accomplish in life, but then something holds you back and you're not able to trust yourself enough to go for those dreams or for those goals, to start that uh, uh, side hustle, to start your YouTube channel, to start a social media, uh, maybe page uh, or a platform, to start that, uh, to open that shop you wanted to, to become a politician, to even become a preacher, to become a coach or, and do what I do here. Maybe you are struggling um, when it comes to believing in yourself or putting yourself out here. So what are things you can do? What are steps you can take to start believing in yourself? So before I go to the steps, one of the reasons why we struggle with believing in ourselves is because we listen to everybody else around us except ourselves. Instead of listening to yourself and instead of asking yourself, what is it? I want to do what is it that makes me feel good who is it I admire who is it I want to become like instead of listening to ourselves and asking ourselves uh, that question we focus on what everybody else is saying about us we focus on those people who tell you you're not tall enough we focus on those people who tell you where well, you cannot do it in your family who has done that you can not just be the first one we focus on people who tell you eh or we focus on people who tell you uh, you don't have the voice for it uh, your English is not good enough uh, are you sure you can do that or we focus on people who tell us that requires a lot of money where do you have that kind of money we focus on every other voice around us except our voice except our own voices we are not listening to ourselves we are listening to external voices all over external voices have always been there they will always be there even after you start whatever it is you're starting but the most important voice you have to listen to is your own voice yeah listen to your own voice and start believing in yourself for a lot of people we are listening to everybody else accept us so that shuts us down that make us makes us feel like we can never do it we can never accomplish we can never start and we even we stop even before we start we never even start yeah okay so don't don't listen to everybody else another thing that makes us struggle towards believing in something and going after it is being too scared of failure being too scared of failing after you start if you want to become a pastor if you want to become a teacher you want to become whatever politician you want to become a businesswoman whoever it is you want to become uh you will never know if you will become that thing until you try you will never know through guesswork. You will never know through building castles in the air. Until you get on the ground and until you start doing that work, you will never know 
what it's like. You will never know if it's for you or if it's not for you. Yeah, so the fear of failure, let's first of all put it aside. And another thing, failure, like I, I always say, failure is not the end of life. And a lot of times when we think about failing, we usually put a full stop after failure. But that, that when, when you fail after the full stop, that will not be the end of your life. You will still wake up tomorrow. You still have next year. So instead of putting a full stop after failure, you put what? A comma. What happens if it, it doesn't work out? You go back to the drawing board. You take your lessons and move on. At least you know it's for you. You can start the other thing. And another thing, what if it doesn't fail? What if it works out? What, what if whatever it is you're scared of doing is what you're actually meant to be doing? It's actually what your life should be about. Yeah? So as much as we focus on the failure, also look at the other side. What if it succeeds? Huh? What if? Do you know what that would do for your life? Anyway, some steps towards believing in yourself. It's really important to trust in yourself. And you trust in yourself when you know you are important. And like I said when I started, it's important to shun the noise around everybody. Yeah? And um, to know, sometimes we expect people to treat us like we are important. Yeah? But the most important treatment is the one you give to yourself. You start thinking uh, about yourself like someone who's worthy, someone who has something to bring on the table. You start treating yourself like that. You start carrying yourself like that. You start thinking about yourself like that. You have to really trust in who you are. You have to know you are worthy of whatever it is you want to go for. Yeah? Okay. So the first step you have to do is to believe it's possible. Is to believe it's possible for you. It's easy to sit around and, uh, and keep guessing of, about what could be, what could become. But you have to really believe it's possible for you. You have, if you want to start a motor vehicle business, you want to start a car hire business, you want to, whatever it is you want to do and you feel like you are shaky shaky about starting it, you have to first of all believe you can do it. It's possible for you as much as, as it has been possible for other people. You, you believe it's possible because there are people who've been before you and they are making it possible and it's working for them and they're putting food on the table through whatever it is they are doing, yeah? Whatever it is you want to do also. You have to believe it's also possible for me. If you want to become a pastor, you have to believe you can actually have your own church and have your own congregation. You have to believe it's possible. Otherwise, how do you start something that you don't even believe it's possible? possible for you chances are you're not gonna go far or it's gonna fail or you're not even gonna start yeah you won't even start it so believe it's gonna be possible for you like it has been possible for other people and one way to do that also could be uh looking at success stories for people who've done it before you if you're trying to become a politician you're trying to become whatever it is you want to become or you're trying to change your career you're trying to change your career, you're trying to do something, look at people who've been on the same journey uh, or who've done uh, what you want to do and have been successful and look at their stories, yeah? Look at their journey, look at how they carry themselves, look at how they conduct themselves, excuse me. If you can be able to reach out to them, if you can be able to talk to them, they're better, yeah? Let those stories encourage you, let those stories believe let make you believe it's possible also for you the next step is to visualize yourself doing that thing or being that thing that's that's scaring you yeah you visualize for example if you want to become a preacher or you want let me give an example with me I am a mindset and personal development coach. I have I've not even done it for a year so I'm still new new I'm still maneuvering things but once in a while, a lot of times actually, I visualize myself speaking in front of a podium full of people. I visualize myself walking into that podium and people clapping for me and people just want my autograph. I visualize myself as that coach that, um, you know, is a force to reckon with. I visualize myself five years from now, where will I be? I visualize myself as a top author in the world. I visualize myself going from city to city, talking to people, talking to them about mental health, about personal development. 
yani I see myself being so huge. I see myself uh, in, in Forbes magazine listed there as a billionaire in Africa. I visualize that. What it does is it gives me the motivation to want to push myself every day. It shows me where that dream can take me, where whatever, where my coaching dream can take me, where whatever I'm doing now, how, how far it can take me. Visualize. If you're trying to start a new business or you're trying to start a side hustle, you're trying to do something, visualize you having like 10 branches of, of that business. Mombasa, Nakuru, Nairobi. Have it in your mind. Visualize what it's going to look like for you. Yeah, when people are coming to you for business advice, when you're the number one uh, designer in Kenya or the most sought after designer in Kenya, visualize that. Yeah, visualize you being the best and the baddest in the game. It's really important. It, and it's an important step towards believing in yourself. When you see yourself there on that podium, if you are, if you want to become a preacher, or if you want to become someone who teaches people about particular things about what, or, or if you want to start a YouTube channel, visualize millions of subscribers. Visualize people stopping you by the road and saying hi to you and telling you they love your content. Visualize all those things, yeah? They will give you the motivation to want to push yourself. And to show you it's possible that every other people probably who've done what you're thinking of doing have that have maybe that recognition they have their bank accounts overflowing yeah they 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 are living their best lives and so can you but you have to see it in your mind to go for it and to believe it you just don't want to start something blindly oh Jui, isn't it just a here's oh there's fog everywhere it's raining see 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 where you want to go yeah another thing is to act like it yeah is to act as if you are that youtuber with millions of views is to act like you own youtube yeah is to act like you own like you know the the, the fashion industry in kenya follows you like you're the best setter for all these designers Act is to act as if um, you're already that 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 person. How do you act as it as, as if you are? By how you uh, uh, carry yourself, by your re routine, by how you talk, by how disciplined you are, even in terms of your uh, what you say you're gonna do, following through what you say you're gonna do. You you cannot uh, act. This is what I mean. You cannot sleep all day. You don't, you're not uh, thinking about it. You're just thinking, hey, one day I want to be a musician. Act like that musician. In the house, take the remote and start singing and start performing for, you know, that audience. When you go out there to meet people, introduce yourself as a musician. I always introduce myself as a coach. Always when I meet people and always when I see someone with an issue, I try to talk to them. Act as if you're already that person. If you want to be, like I've said, a musician, if you want to your talent to carry you away, start be behaving like that person. Start introducing yourself like that person. Start hanging out with people like that. If you want to be a fashionista, start hanging out with the fashion people. Follow them on social media. When you go to an event and you see someone who's you know, into these things that you're trying to get into, talk to them. Get close to them. Act as if you're already that thing. Act as if you're the best coach there is to be, yeah? And I say that because I'm here as a coach and I, I, I introduce myself as a coach even everywhere. And even when I go to events, I make sure people know what I do. I do. So act as if you're that person, yeah? If you're trying to be an upcoming whatever, something, introduce yourself like that. Behave like how those people behave, yeah? Don't, don't behave the opposite or even your, your habits, your character, everything is the opposite of that. But then that is who you want to be. You know, it doesn't make sense. The last thing is to take action. You have believed it's going to be possible for you. You visualize yourself there at the top. You are already acting as if you're that person. You're walking around talking to, if you want to open a butchery, you're walking around talking to butchermen, uh, looking at how people are doing their things. If you want to be the biggest restaurant, what do we call them? Owner of restaurants. What do you call them? I'm forgetting their name. You can just let me know down at the comment section. 
go around talking to uh, people who own restaurants visit restaurants yeah criticize look at the food criticize it and look at what you would do different if it was your restaurant that is acting as if and finally you have to take action that's the last step taking action doesn't mean you have uh, next weekend you'll be on the podium performing with nadia mokami or beyonce it could mean starting to do research or maybe if you want to be a musician the kind the genre of music you want to get into what your voice is like uh how musicians start maybe start talking to producers how much it costs to produce a song how long it takes you know you can start by doing research start by taking action if you want to do what i do here start by looking at my videos start by looking even at my social media platform how i am pushing myself forward start by looking at such things oh uh, you can also even look at if, if it's something you want to start and it's gonna require probably financial aid uh, or it's gonna require funding or it's gonna require money maybe talk to your bank manager or start thinking about how you can fund that new venture or how you know if this is important by the way a lot of times uh, especially if you don't have a natural talent there are people who are naturally talented if it comes to music it comes to other things there are people who just it's just in them it doesn't mean if it's not you're not born with that talent but it's something you admire or would want to do it doesn't mean you can't do it you can go to school and learn a skill you can go to university of youtube there's nothing you can't learn right now even social media we have a lot of content for free about how to become how to become how to how to acquire a new skill and all those things so uh if you think you would want to be something you feel like i want to be do what modoni does but i'm not probably good when it comes to communication or i'm not very eloquent or i'm not able i'm assertive that is something you can work on don't just limit yourself because it's not a natural born talent and actually even people with talent also have to push themselves for example Elliot Kipchoge if he just stayed at home and just slept because he has long legs to carry him whatever and, and and you know would he be where he is would he be winning the medals and being an, an international celebrity no but he has to do uh rehearsals he has to push himself so even if you don't have talent you can always learn a skill i used to work for a vernacular media house i used to speak ikuyu every day but when i started my youtube channel i wanted it to be a global community and i wanted to reach the international community which i have done and a lot of my coaching clients are not kenyans they're from malawi south africa from nigeria from the states all over i wanted to push myself i did practice i practiced i practiced so much um speaking english how to be eloquent i used to write down scripts and put them at my ring light and then i used to to look at what i'm reading when i'm talking to the camera now I don't do that, I can just speak. But even sometimes, even when I'm, when I'm here, but uh, I, I don't stop. I keep going. Yeah, I keep going. So you can learn a skill, you can practice something. Even sitting here and talking here for 20 whatever minutes, it's something I've had to learn and something I've had to practice. So take action. Be proud of who you are. And before you start saying, if no one is believing in me, it's not them to believe in you. And how will people believe in yourself? How will people see how great you are if you cannot even see it yourself? You have to start and then they follow. For all the big personalities you see, whether it's on social media, whatever, they believed in themselves first. They went for what it is they wanted, their goals, their dreams, their talents. And then we see it, go off water. Yeah? We didn't believe in Kipchoge. We didn't even know who he was. We don't believe in, in Lewis Hamilton or whoever. We don't even know who those, who those people are. Beyonce, we just didn't believe her from nowhere, from the skies. We just believe in Beyonce. She sings well. She started singing well and then we followed her. So you have to start fast. And then everybody will follow you. There's a quote that says, you don't have to be great to get started. But you have to get started in order to be great. So guys, believe in yourself. And for the negative comments and for the criticism, use that as motivation. Let that motivate you to, do, to not to stop. Use the negative comments, use the, the whatever. If it's insults, block them, block negativity. But when it comes, don't make them, 
Don't make those things stop you. Don't make them stop you. Use it as fuel and keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop for anybody. Everybody has a place in this world. That is their place. You have your place. There's nobody who's, who's going to overstep on your place. Block them. Block all that negativity and own your space and do your thing. Anyway, I want to end it here. I hope this video has been of help. Nobody's going to believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. And for us to start believing in you, you have to believe in yourself and put yourself out here. There's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. And for everyone who is out here, we get a lot of criticism. We get a lot of negative comments. We get, But you use it as fuel. You use it as motivation. You keep going and you look at the price. And you don't even let anybody stop you. I have my space in this world. Everybody has their space. Don't let anybody overlap. Come and enter your space and start governing it. Don't allow that. Anyway, guys, I wish you all the best. I've spoken for such a long time. Thank you so much for watching. See you again during the next video.